Now, it's very interesting that there's a lot of corruption in the olive oil business. It's been going on for a very, very long time. Um, so you want to make sure when you buy olive oil, you're getting the right stuff. Now, I've been consuming probably a counterfeit olive oil for years because it wasn't until recently that I went to Italy and I actually tasted real olive oil that I knew the difference between the counterfeit and real olive oil. And oh my goodness, when you have authentic, real olive oil, it is so delicious. It's a very green, bright, peppery, grassy, fresh taste. And all these years, I had no idea that olive oil was supposed to taste like this. I was consuming the flavorless and rancid olive oil, which actually had barely any flavor. And I thought that's what olive oil should taste like. Well, that was because a lot of companies were blending the olive oil with a cheaper, low quality oil. And only until recently is the FDA going after some of these counterfeits. So here are some general rules I'm going to talk about. First thing is I would not go after the large brands that you would buy in the grocery store simply because you don't really know if it's legitimate. And ideally, if you can go to a specialty store that you can sample the olive oil, that would be the best. Now, there's a couple things that you want to look at. You would want to always get the extra virgin olive oil, not just the virgin oil, um, not the light or the pure. But this doesn't necessarily always guarantee that it's the real deal, but it's going to help you narrow it down. Number two, um, it'd be good to find the harvest date, not best by this date or bottled on this date. Because what these companies do is they take olive oil and they ship it around the world and they bottle it somewhere else after they combine other oils. So we're not interested in this date. We want the harvest date or processed on this specific date. It would be good to have a third party seal. And number four, like I just talked about, buying your olive oil from a specialty store is probably going to be the best thing. Or you can actually order it right from Italy or some other country that you know has the real deal. Uh, that's what we did. Here's a brand right here that is seriously fresh. Okay, I mean, the taste is incredible. Uh, unfortunately, I, I go through this pretty fast. But you can see that it has pretty much all the things that I talked about right here. Uh, and it's empty. I need to order more. And ideally, you want the name of the producer or the estate where that olive oil was originated from. Now, I did put some links down below of some good, authentic brands that are legitimate. You can check it out. And thanks for watching. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.